Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. Happy Monday. Um, today's video, I want to go over some news that's going to be dropping uh, for tomorrow. Um, and I just want to make sure to remind you guys of what's happening a week from now so that you guys have all the information readily available to you guys so that you guys make some informed decisions. I can't really say what is the right decision for your, your accounts, but at least you guys will be informed. So without saying too much more, let's jump right into it. All right, guys, so this just dropped um, in content creator chat. So they have a couple announcements here for the next couple of days during CVC, which is pretty generous. Um, and honestly, this event's pretty good in the middle of the week. It's pretty good for what it is um, during CVC. So you can, you know, obviously double dip for some extra points if you guys want. Um, but this really smells like absolute bait because we know what's happening in about eight days from now. So roughly a week from now. Uh, we have more opportunities to pick up some more Monster Hunter champions. So if you guys participate in this event, it might affect how you guys will how you guys will be able to perform in the next event. So anyways, let's go over this. It's going to be the 1 plus 1 extra legendary event from Sacred Shard. So these events are really, really nice because when you pull a legendary from a Sacred Shard, you're going to get 2 for the price of 1. Um, it's really good when you know um, you haven't pulled a legendary from a sacred shard for a while. So this means you're uh, heading towards mercy and you're getting increased percentage per shard that you pull. However, you have to make sure you keep track of this. Otherwise, um, you won't be able to benefit from this. So for example, I'll show you guys my mercy on my accounts. So this is RSL Helper. RSL Helper does a bunch of stuff. One of the cool things it does is keep track of your shards and what they what you have pulled. So for example, this is one account that I have. Um, I run two accounts. Um, so on this account, I, it's been 10 shards since I pulled my Lugin, which took me 17 shards to pull. So at 10 shards, I'm still not in Mercy yet because Mercy starts at 12 shards. So on your 13th shard, you will get boosted percentage chance after each sacred shard after that so at 10 we're close but not quite there so for me because i'm actually pretty low on shards overall because i started the year with basically very little um i'm going to skip this one plus one and also because of the events that are coming next week so i got 10 on i'm 10 deep in this account and then on my other account uh we are currently zero deep so I literally just pulled one on my last uh, my last sacred shard. So I'm not going to pull on this account for sure. So for me, it's an easy skip. But for you guys, let's make some educated decisions here. So let's jump right in, back into that Discord message. Um, so here we got an extra legendary event from sacred shards. It's going to start. There's going to be two parts to it. On day one, you're going to have a chance at... Um, there's going to be a boosted um, progressive, progressive event. So 15x to start up to 25. So that's really nice. Like you got a 1 plus 1 extra legendary event. And then you have some boosted rates. So if you actually want these champions, then this is going to be really, really good. Because you get an extra chance at getting them. And then of course you get the extra legendary from pulling shards as well. So here we have Pytheon, obviously very, very good champion. He was a past fusion, so it might be not top priority for a lot of people. Um, Gwenadin, that's the owl. The owl brings some nice um, debuffs, brings basically three quality debuffs. I believe uh, decreased speed, leech, and decreased accuracy on one move. Very good against Hydra, can you know chip in for a little bit of damage as well. Um, she's very recent and there was recent events for her. I think there was a hero's path. So I don't know, maybe if you missed out there, you get a chance to put her in a 15 X. Um, Gl uh, Glazea, she's supposed to be a warlord counter, but her passive only works half the time. And even if it works, um, she's already locked out. So the effect already happens and then her freeze effect has a 50% chance of happening. Speaking of Warlord, there he is for Void Shard. Clayton also there for Void Shards. You're not going to be pulling Void, char void Shards most likely like in this event. Like, it just doesn't make sense, but there it is. Epics. Sentinel is very good. She has a four turn uh, block debuff. Uh, defense up. Very good for a clan boss, especially. And of course, her A1 is an attack down. Um, 
Achak can help for Spider. He does freezing and AoE HP burn. Mausoleum Mage. He can actually help for um, Amius for this rotation in Centranos. I actually looked at his kit. He has a cleanse and then he has a um, block debuff on two separate moves. But I mean, as an epic option, he's definitely usable. I used him a long time ago and then you know, obviously I don't use him anymore, but very viable. Uh, Madame Sirius, you know, the old goat. She's still there, still useful. Ayla Lifebeer. I don't know what she looks like. I think she's a Sylvan Watcher. I don't know what she really does. But, yeah. Uh, and then, so that's tomorrow. So the day afterwards, we have another um, progressive uh, chance event. And this time, we're targeting different champions. So you can pick your day when you want to pull your shards, your sacred shards. So you have Kaja the Rise. She's a team reviver. She was a past uh, partner champion with Timit the Fool. She's better than Timothy the Fool, I think, by herself. Um, so she does, yeah, she can do some some team reviving and some support. Under Pre Brogni, one of the old um, one of the old fusions that people refer to as one of the hardest of, of their time. Um, very good champion, a little bit you know less talked about nowadays because there's no more cadaver uh, teams, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Hawkhorn Smash Lord, can, I can be useful in Amius Centranos. Uh, this rotation, he does bring a four turn cleanse, but he doesn't really bring much else. Um, but I don't see anyone going crazy for this guy. Uh, Riho, she's solid. She's going to be in a lot of those, um, boss dungeon teams with, uh, like, uh, Sand Devil, um, Sand Devil, Shogun. She's going to be there, um, for the one hit and then all those debuffs. Uh, Blind Seer, kind of power crept now, but still not too bad i think she empowers lydia i think so never know sepulchral sentinel uh sepulchre sentinel showing up again oh it looks like the epics are the same so legendaries change but the epics are the same so there's your pick on the 15x um coming up uh it's coming up tomorrow starting tomorrow and i just want to remind you guys of what's happening next week all right so this is the um monster hunter raid collab and this is their web uh, site as of the 10th. If you go to this website um, now, it's not going to have the same info. So when you go to the champion profiles here, it's going to show you guys some dates. Like I said, this is from the 10th, uh, this web archive. Um, but if you go to it now, it no longer shows you the exact dates. So on the 22nd, we're going to have two separate events, I believe, for um, the Archer as well as uh, Alterion. Altrion here. Uh, they both start on the 22nd. Um, Altrion, they said it's going to be a Hero's Path. Hero's Path most likely is going to be a summoning event. Or not summoning event, but they'll give points for summoning shards. Makes sense. They want you to pull shards. Shards will be worth the most. Most efficient way of completing the Hero's Path. So it's kind of like a guarantee for Al Altrion here. We're expecting 20 Sacreds. 20 Sacreds. He's a good champion. He's a good champion. He has a good kit. Um, you know, anything with like protected uh, debuffs, um, they're going to be useful in any kind of like boss content. So he's going to be good. Um, whether he's worth 20 sacreds depends on your account. Um, but I think for most accounts, he should be, he should be pretty solid. Um, for Archer, Archer is one of the best um, Hydra champions. At least her kit looks really good. Um, as like a general support for Hydra. Um, this one is less clear. It's She says summoning pool. Dedicated summoning pool. That could mean prism uh, shard event. Which you know we have no real control over. Other than buying prism shards. Um, the other thing that could happen is that. This could be a progressive event. 15 to 25x with her in the pool. Um, as well as the hero's path. So if it was like a progressive. That would be awesome. Then you can like pull shards and hope to get her while you're completing him. That would be great. If it's Prism, then you have two separate summon events. But either way, if you participate in the 1 plus 1 tomorrow, Sacred Shards, the extra legendary from the Sacred Shards, you will hurt your chances of getting Outreon next week for the Hero's Path. But like I said, you have to expect to spend roughly 20 Sacred Shards or a mix of various shards. So... Just a heads up, guys. You guys are now fully informed. Hopefully, you guys um, get lucky tomorrow if you guys are pulling. If not, um, 
Have a great CVC. Uh, I will be streaming this CVC um, when it starts. So hopefully you guys, uh, if you guys are online, you guys definitely check me out on YouTube. Um, I usually stream every CVC. So if you guys are into watching that, uh, definitely come check it out. I like hanging out and uh, doing that once in a while. Um, anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Have a great start to your week. Have a great Monday. And I'll see you guys in the next video.